fit that never gotta sweat that. You can 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 fit that never gotta sweat that. Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys and welcome to Is That Your Hair? I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that will encourage you to be your very best self. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. I'm back with another Amazon headband wig video. This is part seven. If you're curious about my other headband wig videos from Amazon, check out my Amazon headband wig playlist. It will be linked in my description box. And if you see any of these wigs that you like, please refer to the description box, y'all. All the information is outlined there in detailed, very organized to help y'all search and shop and do whatever you like. Now, if you're not new to wigs, you know that headband wigs was a major trend in 2020 and a lot of us jumped right on it, including myself. But I also realized that I really love the ease and convenience of headband wigs. So I'm still rocking them in 2022. Comment down below if you're still rocking with it. And if you wanna see more of my picks from Amazon, please let me know, it really helps me out. So I'm gonna start with this unit right here. This is actually a unit by Sensational. This is from their Dashley collection. They did extend their collection to include headband wigs. They have three of them. And this is unit three. And I chose this one in particular because I found it on Amazon for one and I was excited for $26. Look at this curl pattern, y'all. Look at this texture. This is so pretty. This is right up my alley. Over the years, I've become very finicky when it comes to my textured wigs and what the curl pattern looks like, especially with synthetic hair, because there are times where it can look not as natural as I would like. But I think with this unit, especially after fluffing it out, it looks a lot better. Out the pack, the curls came more defined, which was pretty, but I like fluffing out my curls and making them big. To me, the bigger, the better. And this, this looks really good. I flipped it over, which is really giving me like Janet Jackson vibes. <laughs> I'm so here for that. By the way, y'all know that she's coming out with a documentary, right? I'm so stoked about that. <laughs> but yes, y'all, overall, I like this. Two things that stand out about this headband wig in particular is that there's a drawstring in the back, so you can adjust this to make this looser or tighter for your head. And that's another thing I like about headband wigs. They normally accommodate almost all head sizes. Another thing I noticed about this headband wig is that the place where there's Velcro, it actually came with like a little cloth material over the Velcro part. So that way it wouldn't snag, which I thought was really interesting because that's one thing I noticed over time with some of my older headband wigs, like the Velcro sometimes wears out. So if you wanna protect your Velcro, there's a cloth that it comes with and you can easily do that, which I thought was really nifty. I like that. I really wanted to wear this in the middle but because like my hair is so like poofy underneath, it's just not not laying right <laughs> in my opinion. Like I think it looks cute, but I just kind of want it like, ugh, I gotta get my hair done. But this is how it's looking like right now in the middle. Actually, it's not so bad. Ah, that's cute. Are y'all a middle part kind of people or a side part? Let me know in the comments because I'm normally a middle part kind of girl, but you know, when it comes to like a little flip over action, I love a good side part. Yes, y'all, this is pretty. Okay, sensational. $26, come through. Just so you know, you can find this unit for cheaper if you do a Google search. I provide my Amazon links because that's an affiliate link and it does directly support my channel. So if you wanna shop through them, that's great. If not, search through Google, no harm, no foul. I just want you to grab the wigs that you like. And this one, she's definitely a keeper. The more I look at her, the more I'm like, what? Maybe I should have started out in the middle. As far as the con, I do notice that there are some straighter pieces in this unit, which I'm not like too excited about. But when I'm fluffing it out, it kind of just all blends together. And fluffing this out isn't difficult, y'all. All I really did was just take a curly piece and just separate it softly with my fingers like that. And I just kept doing it all throughout the unit. So you can rake through it, or if you wanna be more gentle with the curls, use your fingers and do like a few pieces at a time. Either way, I'm really here for the fluffed out look. Let me know what y'all think. 
thing. By the way, y'all, I'm really feeling these glasses. I just bought these from Zilu. I bought five, but this pair is my favorite. Woo! Y'all like red glasses? Let me know in the comments. I will link these. I don't have a code currently, but there are so many people reviewing Zilu glasses with codes. If you decide to buy from Zilu, please support my fellow wig bays who review for them because they all have coupon codes that will help you save money. Also, I found similar glasses on Amazon, similar styles as this, so I will leave a link to that so you can check that out in my Amazon storefront. All right, y'all. One wig down, three more to go. Okay, the next headband wig I have from Amazon is a lock wig, y'all. I'm excited because the last time I showed y'all lock wig was during the summertime and it was the short lock wig. Oh my God, y'all really liked that one and I loved it. I wore that joint out and it looks so good. The more you wear out that lock wig, the more natural it looks. This is basically a longer version of that wig. Look at that y'all, this is, this is definitely newer cause this was not around back when I first reviewed that shorter one. But you know, as things get more popular, they revamp things, look at this. It's in that 30 color, same color everything, just longer. It gives you like a longer starter lock look. I'm here for it. Y'all, this smells like a beauty supply store. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean? Like, if you're from New York, you probably know what I mean, but this smells like this was around a lot of hair and beauty products. It's not like a bad thing, it's just, hmm, it's very distinct. <laughs> okay, so let me take this off and we are gonna to toss her on in a second. It has that nice soft headband here that's about two inches or so. You do have two combs here in the front, no comb in the back, but you have adjustable straps, okay? But this headband is different because it has these these, like it's like a bra strap in the back. You see that? Like I said earlier, the Velcro can wear and tear over time. So I like the idea of doing the bra hooks instead. So we're gonna toss her on. Let's see what's popping. Ooh, this is a nice firm fit. This thing ain't going nowhere. All right, this is the look y'all. What are we thinking? How are we feeling? about these starter locks in the longer version. This right here is puffy. I don't really care for that. Part of it is my hair underneath. Another part of it, I just know that there are some filler hairs here. But to me, I think it looks good. I low-key look like my aunt. <laughs> because she has locks too. This is pretty. Right now these locks are super uniform. Just to show you what they look like up close. Very pretty, but I f prefer my locks to look a lot more lived in. This is cute. And then you can flip it over. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Gladys, where are we going? Uh, hello. Oh. I look like somebody's math teacher for real. <laughs> one plus one equals what? Two. I like this. What do y'all think? Here's what the back looks like. If you're like me and you're into like the half up, half down persuasion, you can definitely do a little something like that. Ooh, and I think it looks so cute with these red glasses. Yes, I feel like this is serving a look. I'm here for it. Are we still doing lock wigs in 2022? Let me know how you feel. <laughs> Cause I'm into her. I would love this in like a, a curled style, like, like curly fries. That's a style that I really like when C does that style. She really does it. My girlfriend C, she has locks too. And when she curls her locks, they look so gorgeous. Overall, I think this looks good. I like the T230 color. I love the individual locks. They're very well done. It's definitely a full cap, so you're not having gaping like you might find with other lock wigs. Don't mind the sun, y'all. It's like moving all over the place right now. <laughs> and also, for some reason, you did not want the headband. You can tuck the headband under and then like, pull the locks forward and trim them. I've done that before. Yeah, there's so much that can be done. All right, y'all, I had to switch directions because the sun was shifting. We are back. 
But yes, y'all, I think this looks very pretty. You also can wear this in a pineapple style too, which I showcased with another lock wig that I have. It's the same color as this, but it's not the same type of lock. This is definitely like a soft starter lock, whereas that other Amazon headband wig was a harder, more concrete formed lock. But yeah, y'all, I think this is very pretty. I think I've lucked out with finding lock wigs that are pretty well made on Amazon because I've seen some that are not. <laughs> so I'm happy about it. Look at this. I really like the way it looks with my glasses on, for real, for real. Low key, I'm tempted <laughs> to put this in my dryer. Like, like I'm tempted to wet it, put it in my dryer and like let it dry for 10 minutes just to like get the lived in look faster like i don't want to have to rock this multiple times in order to get the look i want i think i might do that i'm gonna put the joint in my dryer i know that sounds like a little crazy like girl you put wigs in your dryer not often but i i just have a vision for this i know it's gonna take me a longer time to achieve it but i think i can get the lived in look if i just wash it and put it in my dryer so Maybe I'll update y'all with that on Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me on there, please do. I do my best to check in there almost every day. And I do give sneak peeks on the wigs that I'm gonna bring to YouTube on Instagram. So make sure you are following your girl. Also, really quick, before we go into the third wig, I need y'all to follow my Amazon storefront. <laughs> This is an Amazon video, right? Right. I have started something fairly new. I started in November where I go live on Amazon and I like to talk about wigs, beauty, makeup, travel items, everything that I like that I buy from Amazon. Please follow my storefront. One, it helps me out because I have certain goals that I'm trying to reach on that platform. And two, you're able to get notified every time I go live on there. Nothing crazy, I'm not gonna be bombarding with notifications. It's really only when I go live, which I was doing once a week, but right now my plan is to do it bi-weekly as we move into February. So yeah, make sure you follow your girl. We actually just reached a thousand followers on my storefront, which I'm really proud of. So thank you to everyone who already got the memo. For those who didn't, go ahead, look at my description box, click the link, follow me. I really appreciate it. Now, before we go into wig number three, quick side note, y'all, make sure you have a wig grip. Like if I were going outside, I definitely would put on my wig grip. Why? Because it helps grip your wig. And I like this one because it's adjustable in the back here. So if you need one of these, definitely grab one. You'll see it linked in my description box. The next wig is from the Gotten Company. It comes in this nice satin bag. And let me tell you, this headband wig is a wig I've never seen before on Amazon. And trust me, I have featured a lot of Amazon headband wigs. I've seen way more than I've featured. And this one's definitely different. It's a textured wig. And low-key, I'm a little excited about it. Look at this. So I have shown y'all an Afro textured Amazon headband wig before where I pulled back the headband and blended my natural hair and y'all really liked that. So I was happy to find another textured one, but this one is like, you see those, those crinkles there? It looks like a twist out. It does have straight ends, but those can easily be clipped off. So yeah i'm here for this it looks like a, a 1b color it has one comb in the front and one comb in the back and adjustable strap same type of like silky type of headband here but this one does not have the bra hooks this one has oop, this one has velcro so let's see what we're working with y'all already know how i feel about textured hair honey i really i really hope i like this y'all like let's make something shake let's see let's see let's see okay nice snug fit what are we looking like what do we have here wait a minute do y'all see the vision do y'all see it <laughs> whoa hold the phone mm -mm. i don't think y'all are ready for this one i don't think i'm ready for this one Look what happens, oh, this earring keeps coming out. Look what happens as I start fluffing out this headband wig, y'all. Oh, this little mama right here. Y'all, do y'all, who's on the website? <laughs> this, oh, this is pretty. All my tight 
four hotties, stand the fuck up. Like, for real? This is our time to shine. <sighs> this is so pretty. I'm so here for this. I know it's not just me. Drop a comment down below if you see the vision, if you see where I'm coming from. Now, I just don't understand why they would put these weird looking straight ends, but you know what? I can easily clip that off. Oh my God. I'm just marveling over this hair. I have never seen a headband wig like this from Amazon. Oh, this looks really natural, y'all. Look at that. Whew. Also, you'll notice with some of these companies on Amazon, they'll include headbands. They included two headbands here, and actually, these are cute. Sometimes I don't like the headbands they include, and they're not like the cotton ones. They're like the, well, this one is more cotton, but this one is like more of a satiny or maybe polyester. I don't know how to describe it, but if you click the link, it'll give you all the information. But yeah, these are cute. I'm here for it. All right, so as far as these ends, literally all I would do, y'all, if you decide to purchase this, I would take my scissors and I would just clip it, like literally just like that. It doesn't have to be anything dramatic. I am just clipping them away. And I would just get, I mean, the way I am, I'm a little haphazard with it. But I'll just gather a bunch at a time and just clip the ends because that's just how I'm feeling. I'm not like super concerned about length. Like I know it's going to stay this general length, so it's fine. I'm just clipping away really quickly just to see if I can just change this up within five minutes because I want to get to the last wig. Um, but as you can see, as I'm clipping, this is already making a difference. Like, we do not need type 2 hair on type 4 hair. Like, what are they thinking? Okay, y'all, I'm back with this kinky, curly beauty. And I'm floored right now. This unit right here is... <laughs> She's a win. I feel like y'all might sell this one out. Look at this. Look at this curl pattern. Are you kidding me? And this is synthetic hair, y'all. This is a $30 headband wig from Amazon. $30. Mind you, if I want to achieve this look, I normally would just use my human hair headband wig units and like do a twist out and, and be done. But the fact that I can achieve this without having to do the work is kind of blowing my mind right now <laughs> oh my god like look at this i i'm trying to keep my fingers out this hair because i want to keep this look i snipped out a lot of the straight ends off camera this is what it looks like that's how much i snipped off and it looks so much better now there's still some left over here but i gotta spend like another 10 minutes to to tackle that but i think this looks damn good what do y'all think i mean Honey, mm. what? <laughs> Stunning. I really want to do like a half up, half down look with this girl because I know she's going to look like a fucking dream. But who pardon my French, y'all. I'm just so excited about this. <laughs> Let me know. Premiere party for watching. Please comment in the chat. Yeah, y'all. This is a winner. So far, I'm really feeling the headband wigs I've picked up in this little mini haul. The only con to this one was the straight ends, and that's an easy fix. So this is definitely getting a 10 out of 10 from me. Okay, last wig, y'all. This is another headband wig, but this is a human hair one. The brand is Shanane, something like that. Shanane, I don't know. But this is what it looks like straight out of the pack. And I will say it definitely feels like human hair, like they're not playing tricks on anybody over here. I'm assuming it's like a lower grade, like a Remy human hair. I don't think this is a blend. I think this is all human hair, so that's cool. This is only $25 though. The thing is though, I, I'm pretty sure I ordered a 20 inch. This, is, this looks short to me. This is looking like 16 to me, but let me double check that. 
um so yeah i want to throw her on real quick before my camera starts to overheat <laughs> and then we're gonna wrap this video up i feel like this one is a tighter cap than the other ones just be mindful of that for my ladies with the larger head but yeah this is the wig it's definitely a lighter density like i feel more of the density up here but then towards the ends it's definitely lighter which i'm not like mad at but i know some people like their density full from root to tip am i getting any shedding i'm getting a few strands yeah this is not 20 inches y'all i need to check what i bought but this is giving like 16 at the most i love the way it feels this is feeling like definitely feeling like yaki hair all right y'all so i am back with the human hair headband wig i did check the specs and i actually ordered an 18 inch but um you see this is not giving 18 inch like this one little piece right here is 18 inches the rest of this is giving like 16 so off the break that's a con to this unit if you want a certain length i feel like you're gonna have to order the next length up in order to get that like i should have just ordered like a 22 inch overall the pros are the hair itself feels really nice like this doesn't feel like a a blend this feels like actual human hair i did blow this hair out with my revlon blow dry brush which is my oldie but goodie this holds me down with my natural hair with my wigs my textured wigs all that so i did some passes through with this to get some of the bumped ends out i will say i like the density of this unit i don't mind the thinner ends but if you like fuller straight hair you know you might you might not be feeling this one but it's not like there's any track showing like look at the back I would say it looks good in the back. It's just, it's just not even in the front. So I would just have to take my scissors and snip it like that in order to, you know, make it even. This is just me do snipping it quickly, but you see what I mean? That's what you're going to have to do if you purchase this unit. But I think the hair is surprisingly good quality for it to only cost $25. I'm very surprised by this. <laughs> so if you're looking for a quick, super affordable human hair headband wig that feels nice, the price is right, under $30, I don't see an issue with this one. Just know what you're getting into when it comes to the density and the length. All right, y'all, those are my four latest picks from Amazon. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments down below. Did y'all add any of these to the cart? Let your girl know. But don't buy them all up. Leave a little bit for me because I'm definitely coming back for that kinky, coily one, the third one. They actually have that available in a, a blonde color, like a 30 color. I saw it. I need to snatch that up now. If y'all want to see me come back with more Amazon headband wigs, please let me know in the comments. This is part seven, right? So I was thinking of maybe going up to like part 10 and maybe stopping it there. I don't know. It just really depends on the feedback that I receive from y'all. So that's why it's so important that y'all comment and share your thoughts with me. Whether good or bad, just be respectful. <laughs> Let me know so that way I know what to bring back to you. And if you're new here and you enjoyed this video, tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming content. Also, feel free to check out some of my latest videos over here. Thank you so much for joining me, Premiere Party. I love y'all, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!